good evening everyone i welcome you all to the interview with inspirations which is an initiative by reset skills rediscovery skills rediscovery is asia's largest skill based platform sir i am nidhi jain and i am project management intern at the platform today we have with us mr ganesh jovelkar he is currently serving as the head of computer science department at sanjeevni kbp koregaon maharashtra polytechnic college and he has completed his phd in computer science and holds several certificates and awards to his name he was born in a village in a small town in maharashtra and has seen different phases of life and throughout have been dedicated to education he is completely passionate to bring change into the education system to and fro so i heartily welcome you again here sir and we are very thankful that you are here with us thank you thank you thank you so much nidhi uh, i am really thankful for the skills uh, this story that you are uh, asked me for this interview i'm really happy for it so now the next 30 minutes will be more interesting for me thank you yes sir yeah. definitely so i wanted to know and even the viewers would like to know your journey since your career begins sir basically it's very uh, tough for me because i'm from the uh, poor family so my education when i'm uh, you know uh, from starting to night my uh, pattern and helps me my uncle helps me a lot for getting the education even many of the scholarship i will get in my education life so after completing the degree of in computer science i uh, try to join to the industry but unfortunately in just at that time we are recession in computer science so ultimately i had to work very hard i had to do some courses but uh, i'm not able to do so so i tried to work in cp that is satyam uh, at that time in 2005 uh after that in uh, by doing the job for one and half uh, uh year i uh, joined to sanjeevni kbp polytechnic as a lecturer so from there my journey of the education started but before that i just uh, like uh, everyone is trying to say i don't want to be a teacher so in the same way i was there but uh, when i joined the uh, post of lectureship and come to know about the system the society the requirement of the uh, teachers and everything So ultimately, uh, the journey started from there, basically, right? And uh, now yes, I'm very happy to be a teacher and lecturer and guru. Yeah. So, yes, sir. You mentioned somewhere in between that you had to do several courses before yes. coming on to computer science. Yes. Can you elaborate on that point, sir? Uh, actually, uh, the knowledge and the skill I come to know about in 2005 itself. When I was there in the industry, trying to get a job in industry, uh, one thing is very clear that education system is never giving us, uh, you know, the proper skills. It is just for getting the education, getting uh, the degree, I could say. But if a person is having the skills, then and then only he will be able to get in the industry. So from there, I, uh, you know. I feel that I I must have to go and get the uh, skills oriented subjects, skills certification and that. So uh, gradually I completed my MTech and PhD and at the same time I'm doing the certification along with it. But online certification, online teaching is so interesting. Yeah, you know, uh, before that we just have the uh, live education like the uh, in classroom uh, teaching learning process. But when I write something about the certification and I uh, enroll for that, I come to know about the live classes. The, the different ways of creating uh, thoughts, you know, it's amazing, amazing. So I'm in, uh, in love with that with the uh, certification courses. So I completed many of that. Recently, I'm having a data scientist uh, course, having 21 certification in that. So I'm pretty excited that uh, being a data scientist, I could able to serve to the society. It's really a great. Yes, sir. That. Yes, sir. Agree to your point. Our formal education is somewhat. far from skill today yes and that is the reason why online is coming now you know in this corona situation everybody is at home so uh, there is no alternative for the online education right so uh, and the students are at home they are trying to get things very clearly unless and until we are focused we cannot able to get the things in online education right so uh, yes think, uh, with this i would like to say ki each and every one should uh, take it very clearly ki now the future is with online education 
we have to do it. Yes, and now the new normal is online education. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So well, I like to also know what are the challenges you face or you came across in withstanding mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. competitiveness or the uh, com- complexities of this industry, sir. Uh, you are asking about the education industry, right? About your particular, you are in computer science. Yeah, yes. Ah, uh, there are many challenges because the computer uh, world is like you know every day is changing. Every day something is coming different. Uh, the the thing that you learned would be uh, you know it's fast, and then new uh, technology comes into the picture. So every day you need to be updated, right? Uh, if you think about the education industry, the education and the industry is almost a five years gap in India. So uh, industry is far away, uh, far ahead than the teaching that we are having. But I could say, uh, basic challenges related to this uh, our uh, uh, computer science person is that we need to uh, go to the basic root of the uh, society. You know, technology is okay at the end. We are working on that. We are developing something. We are giving the solution to it. But the solution, whatever we are doing, it's not for all the people uh, in the group. No, we are this uh, solutions, these things would be only for the people uh, with high higher income range. So I wish uh, if it could be uh, for to uh, to the basic people, like you know, for the poor people. So that would be yes, easy. That day I would like to see that everything is to the poor people that we can able to do. Yes, definitely. Many people are there on this line who are working towards basically providing everything to the poor people, then reaching out. Basically, everything is available to them because resources are not available to the bottom eighty percent of the population. Sir. Right, right, right. Yes, sir. Can we know about what your institute or what the course offers to student as to the whole from computer science course and even the data science you mentioned mentioned right now? Uh, more into uh, it if you could yes i'm really happy to share it about you uh, i am from sanjeevni kpt polytechnic it is one of the institute of sanjeevni group of institutes uh, it is situated in shirdi we are near shirdi uh, sai baba okay and yes uh, it's very famous <laughs> yes yes and it started <laughs> from the, uh, the kg to pg you know the all type of education would be given by the sanjeevni group of institutes being a part of sanjeevni kpt polytechnic i'm really happy That our college is one of the best college in Maharashtra. Now we are NBA accredited. Very few polytechnics are NBA accredited. Basically, we are NBA accredited. Uh, the ISA certification has always been there, and always we are graded with excellent grade by the MS BTG, the Maharashtra State Board of Technical Education. Uh, regarding my department, if you ask, then um, uh, being as the head of the department, I am taking many of the things for my students. Like uh, we are having three different. Uh, Uh, type of programs for the students. One is from alumni that I uh, used to call that is my story board. So many of my alumni, which are there from 2005, they are coming to the colleges and giving lectures to my students that what is there in industry. So ultimately, the gap between the industry and the student, you know, uh, the the fitness of the industry in, in the students would be uh, uh, work on that. Reduced. Second part I am doing is that a uh, Sanjeevni I Connect program. In that program, what we are doing. We are calling to the industry people who are working at uh, the master level, like you know, a project manager or something. So they would come to colleges and then they will deliver a lecture session to the students and they will tell what actually the technology is in the industry. So how to get upgrade? How to uh, you know how to do the motivation uh, for doing work industry or entrepreneurship? So that would be done. And third part is that we are having. a uh, sanjeevni my story board not my story board it's a thought leader program so thought leader means a uh, person like you uh, sarayna that they comes to us you know you are having many thoughts in your mind so when you come like and see your owner of the uh, company you come and talk with the students what is entrepreneurship how you can make your own business so uh, that motivation uh, will be given by that thought leader program uh, along with that i am having many of the clubs which are working in my department Like uh, a social club, I'm having a photography club uh, that I'm having a green club. I'm having many of the clubs. Uh, the students are there with me. So what happens, you know, with the social club, I'm able to help to all the needy people. Even in uh, this corona situation, we are trying our best that each and every student which are situated at their location, they will help to the needy people which are around them. 
um, the same thing that would be done for the uh, the oldies home you know some of the ashram shahs like the, the the poor students are you know studying over there so we go there we help them we motivate the students that you are also be the part of the best part best india so that part we do uh, a green club my green club is working for all uh, the green campus of my uh, uh, you know college environment so we got the uh, best campus and best green campus award by ict last year in 2019 20 So many of the things have been there with the uh, related to green club. A photographic club is there. Many of the uh, uh, students are having their hobbies. So each and everything, I, I, I try my best that many of the students should not be only compared to their education and only compared to their uh, uh, computer science and everything in particular. They should uh, do it by their uh, mind. They should be doing it by their brain. So ultimately, when the students goes out, they are trying to use it. in their life so life skills are yes, more sir. important so that i am trying to perpetuate through my department so all the initiative seems to be very great and you are really trying to blend the formal education with skill based education exactly, exactly. Yes. yes so what is the current you have already mentioned that the we have to keep you always have to be updated in the computer science but still in more elaborate form i would like to know the current scenario of your industry as to are people really preferring to study computer science or they are diverted to various fields or sub parts of computer science what is the current scenario sir uh, the current scenario is mysterious because uh, before the time uh, we used to say a person is trying to be a computer science or computer science engineer right but now the things are not there from uh, the eight or uh, seven the students are come to know about the uh, programming languages so uh, i think in many of the students from any of the industry like from bcom ba uh, uh, bsc each and every one would uh, uh, come up across the courses and they are able to get inside the industry right so computer is now uh, is used to each and every one of us we cannot you know like in mobile we cannot live without mobile now right the same thing is there for the computer for all the students so i think this yes, is happening when uh, the scenario is just changing so fastly each and every one of us would try to do something else so industry is now open for everyone it is not restricted mm -hmm. to uh, the person right If the person who is having skills the person who is having the knowledge the industry is open for them so that is this is the biggest changes that is happening in this decade yes sir and i think you know nidhi uh, uh, one thing is that uh in the current scenario the ai is coming into picture like right? data science is coming into picture as you asked so i already done the data science so what you know everything so i'm losing you in between hello hello yes i can hear you uh, yeah uh, now there is you know ai artificial intelligence data science these are the very crucial words which are coming into a picture so artificial intelligence are there so everything i could say it would be the automation state is going on right a uh, data science is there so data is very vital for us each and every one is having a different data in their own laptops and uh, you know in banking sector and everywhere data is very important so ultimately we need to uh, do something like that we can save the data we can have different operations on data so that would be done by the data scientists you know prediction is there in corona situation uh, the prediction comes very uh, vital role the second yes, wave is there in maharashtra now it's very critical wave. so the prediction is that many of these uh, people say you know have to take care of themselves so mm -hmm. this, this is uh, very important like you know this new technology is we change change the humanity that they are changing uh, the world of the humanity so i would say many things are still to come robotics is still to come the ai part basic main part of ai is still to come in india Right, when it is bringing in the era, uh, it's an revolutionary, revolutionary thing. Yes, sir. In every, even related to even social science, have accumulated AI. Every branch is basically accumulating the aspects of AI, yes. and it's really becoming important. Yes, sir. So, can I can I have your take on new education policy, which was recently come uh, launched by NDA government? It's really great. Uh, you know our first education policy in 1962 that was uh, yes sir so it is after that in 1986 the second education policy comes and it is get uh, somewhat a change in 1992 after that year you know in 2020 we are having the next policy 
now but this mm-hmm. policy i think mm-hmm. one, yeah. yes so this policy is really good i can say it's uh, it will have some changes uh, revolutionary changes in the education system uh, with the 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 it's really great one many of the miscommunication uh, confusions are there with many of the peoples of the india in maharashtra but i could say the 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus floor is a really excellent idea and uh, the students which are coming out of fitna they are really not bothered about the examination they are really not bothered about the subjects that you are they are learning you know what happens is now uh, as you are learning something you, uh, if you are from the become fit you have to learn accounting you have to learn this thing but if the though you are having interest in politics you are not able to do so yeah? yes. now new education policy gives us the freedom that we can able to select any of the subject so ultimately it makes person, possible yes, yes the, uh, ultimately mm-hmm. the person which come out of it na then uh, he would be uh, the perfect one he would be a perfect one so uh, they are trying to give uh, the justice to each and every one like in a graduation when we are trying to get, get a graduation four years graduation is there but a person who is you know by any means left graduation by one year or two years he is not able to complete it the reason could be anything right but now yes, in policy sir. in this policy it is given credit system credit system is given and also the thing is that of a uh, degree program graduate program is there right if a person is not able to complete the graduate program he leaves the program in first year he would get a certificate if he leaves the program mm-hmm. in second year he will get the diploma if he want to do a job he has to do third year and if he is yes, not like to go for the research in four, four year so it's really in very good and entry and exits are very simple so national education policy 2020 i'll definitely suggest that the government has to uh, apply it as early as possible it might be okay. 2022 it would be applied but uh, really excellent policy is given yeah sir even then i think we are basically stick to more marks oriented education system exactly everything so how will this education policy change that mentality sir no no it is new education policy now they have made it very sure right the four things are there uh, the students are basically work on the marks but now the marks <laughs> still would be t- converted into the grades first thing second thing mm-hmm. the marks you have to sell, do the self assessment that for your mm-hmm. education for your grade you have to do the self assessment like how much is confidence you will get from okay. this education so that alternative thing is there third one is that you uh, are able to give marks to your friends also your friends are giving able to give marks to you also so you know it mm-hmm. is really a great thing and for last one is the teacher uh, in the previous uh, education system the teacher is the only one who are able to give the marks but now there are four things here like you know you the second one is your self assessment third one is your friend and fourth one is your teacher so ultimately if the uh, the fitness you know uh, the students are more affected with the marks that affinity comes down they are more focused on the uh, friends they are more do work in teams so ultimately when a person is doing work in team they are with all the people they will get a good marks okay 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 sir sir and like no interview can go without having a question on pandemic and so even this interview has a question on pandemic so what lesson you think that the indian education fraternity should keep in mind from this covid pandemic situation sir the first thing that uh, we have the alternative solutions the first thing is that because the education system doesn't have the alternative solutions we never think of that if such thing is happening what is plan b so now the, uh, the people start thinking about the plan b plan c but that would be done before okay. right the plan is that online education is there for for understanding the online education for impacting the online education we take we have to take a lot of efforts because i know personally being as a head of the department i know what i have done for you know uh, asking the parents that please give the mobile to your phone uh, is why please ask him to give the internet the things are very worse so uh, by the year my many of the students uh, are able to get you know, the connection internet the second thing is that in india we are having very less connectivity problems you know not connectivity problems we have less connectivity in rural areas so uh, uh, digital digital yeah. so i think the government has to take care of that the, each and every smallest part of the 
India, we must have each and every services available to them because they are also having, uh, you know, uh, that being the part of the India, we are independent, right? So uh, that things must be there for them also, not only for the people of yes, the uh, yeah, uh, urban area. So I think the COVID has teach us everything. They teach us how to live, how to take care of your people, how to be, you know, how to work at home without disturbances. So these there are many things. You know, uh, even even to how you can able to help your wife. How can you play with the kids? So everything. <laughs> <laughs> so everything. Yes, sir. When it comes again, uh, basically when the, the two, two people are working at home. So ultimately, what is happening? Both are coming by the six or seven o'clock. Then you know all the uh, effort that has taken by full day. So we are not having that much of capacity to you know play with the kids and then now this COVID has you know clear, clearly tells us that you are nothing with your uh, uh, if you you are not having the family, isn't it? So so the family is must and how to work happy that is also. Shown by the COVID. Yes, sir. I think but the worst part is there. COVID is dangerous, but the good part is that the people know the humanity has been. People are trying to uh, stand for each other. They are trying to, uh, you know, the family get rebuilt in many ways. So, these are good things that are happening. Yes, it's basically Earth. Finally, the Earth gave a signal to take a step back and introspect ourselves as to what we are doing exactly, exactly. <laughs> the same thing uh, one of my friends is get admitted in the you know, corona COVID center so ultimately by these 15 days he come to know about himself no many of us we are just thinking about uh, the job the thinking about the future but not about ourselves so ultimately yes, sir. the time is given by the god to us if you are positive <laughs> then go and think about yourself eh? Change, make a change in yourself, and then only you will be in society. Yes, definitely. I do agree, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, how much do you think the formal education up till now has blended with the skill education, or as the skill development and the skills related policy are already been there on the ground? Yeah. But how much do you think it has really impacted the people, sir, or has shown in the education system? Very frankly, till now, uh, I could say only 50% or 60% is impaction on in the in the uh, skill oriented things. Because you know what happens, one uh, it would be possible only when the education institute will get to change. No, now AICT is impacting that you have to change, and then the education systems are changing. They are changing, but before that. Though in 2018, the skill based education is there, MBA. MBA is basically there only, no? uh, it is output oriented education. So, uh, when we yes, are sir. saying the uh, skill based education will be there, you have to, the institute has to connect with the industry, then and only it will be possible. But I think the impact is 50 60%. By 2022, it will definitely go around 80 to 90%. And this is really required. Because the students which are uh, completing their graduation, we must create them, you know, like uh, job ready people. They should not yes, think terms of uh, other uh, uh, certification and other things once they are taking the job. Yeah, we need an education system to be more comprehensive in nature now. Yes. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Along with it, uh, yes, you were saying something. Yes, yes. Along with it, I would, I would like to say one thing from my mind. You know, what I'm thinking of, uh, our education system is totally built by the British people, and they have started. They have, uh, they have written it that you have to work like this and this and this. You know, uh, if you see some of the years back, like in 1600 and 1500 or before that, we are having a Gurukul system. In Gurukul system. What we are having, we uh, at that time the students are uh, able to get the details about the uh, astrology, about the Ayurveda, about the numerology, you know, about the social science. That st that things would be known at the very early age. Like uh, for the student of the first and second standard would know about the astrology. But now this is not the case. No, what is happening? We are getting astrology only when uh, they are interested in that first thing. 
A second yes. thing, many of the people are not having interest. So ultimately, we go to the astrologer and show our hands. Please say, tell me what is happening in my life. You know, this thing is happening. But if we change the system, education system in such a way that whatever the students are learning from first, I could say first, second, or third year, you know, so they would able to know about the Ayurveda. The good thing is that once they know about the Ayurveda, the small, small diseases like snake and cough and you know fever. Many of these diseases, which are taking you know, big uh, things in our life, so that would be cured by uh, home only. Huh? The second thing, uh, yes, the astrology is there. Then I could say numerology is there. Then safety is there. Then I think there should not be any need to do any special courses for safety for girls. No need. At the early ages, like first, second, third, you have started these things. You will have to start how to from the you know safen yourself. How to be a more protective? How to protect uh, the girl? How to protect the woman? You know everything. That that skills or that we can say these uh, feelings is to be incorporated into the early life of the students. So, uh, yeah. so I think uh, that that is a better solution for the India. And once we go with it, yes. we will be able to have great people with us. So, in just you are trying to say that. Person should be allowed to learn everything, and then it should be left upon a person to choose what he want to pursue. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So the last question: How politics is interfering in education system? It's having a positive role or a negative role? What do you think? Uh, basically, I could say it's a negative role because uh, if they are positive, then we are not like that. Uh, the system is very. You know, uh, right now they are negative. I could say uh, because they are just trying to <laughs> take it as a business. But if we go ahead of it, uh, taking it as a business as well as a social thing, then and then only it would be more impactful, more uh, revolutionary, more creative. I could say. You know, uh, politician has to take care that in whatever they are earning. You know, it's not the, the students are not only the job seekers. You know. In India, the situation is that everyone is studying that I will get the job and earn some money. Why do we think that we have to be a creative and we can start something else? We are getting all these things from China. You know, small small things in even Diwali we are getting lightning from China. Why is so? Why do yes, we are able to do it here? In India? So I think it's a problem of thinking. And if the thinking is changed, definitely we will change yeah. India. And I think the thoughts are being processed now. So. Soon we will get this. Yes, yeah, so we are trained in a way to think that at the end we have to just fetch a job. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, sir. So it was really great to have you with us today. All your experiences and whatever you said today, I'm very sure all our viewers will be drawing inspiration from it, sir. You really have a very, uh, what could I say, a very. Comprehensive plus a to the point conclusion to everything. You know what is to be done, sir. It's really it was really a pleasure to have you with us today, sir. Thank you, thank thank you. you for being there with thank us. You, and thanks to Saranya also. I'm really happy. Thank you to Skill uh, Discovery also. Really yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you. It's our the pleasure is all ours, sir, to have you with us and to, to be able to have a discussion. With you about all this education and about the important things, sir. Thank I thank you again, sir. Thank you so much. I'll be there for the entire life. Any any time you can say to me, <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. We wish to have you with you with you as like we wish to have you as a trainer on our platforms. Sir, if you would like to, all right, that would be on board. Yes, yes, sir. definitely. Thank you, sir. If I have to share my knowledge to the entire world, I'll be more happy. Yeah, it will be a great thing for us. It will be a boost up for our platform as well to have persons like you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, sir. Good day, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye.